welcome back. As promised, we're going to uh, make our characters now. Right click and then insert new game object. Okay, and then now we're going to scroll down until we find sprite. Let's click insert. And then you can see our cursor changed to like a crosshair looking thing. So just click somewhere. And then that will open up the animation editor. So the animation editor, as I said before, this is kind of like the paint, Microsoft Paint, if you have played with that before, you can draw in here. Uh, so remember, this is an animation editor, so you can make animation here. So this is a frame. Uh, if you duplicate that, you know, and then you change it up a little bit, click preview, you can see um, it changes stuff. Anyway, Taylor is going to show you how to do that. Uh, so why don't we load in some images from the asset pack that we downloaded earlier. Uh, so you, again, right click here, import frames from strip. Okay, tiny adventure pack. Uh, let's go to our character. Character one, idle. Idle just basically means standing around, not doing much. Idle down. Okay. So now it asks you how many cells is in the image. Uh, six, one, so yeah, six, one, horizontal, click replace entire animation, click import, and you're good. So now I'm going to show you why it's six, okay? So remember, uh, remember this file here. So go back to IDO. Basically, it takes this image and chop it up uh, to extract the different frames. So you can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six different uh, cells in this, or six different frame in this image. So that's why we tell it to uh, cut it into six different pieces. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job. Uh, now we have six different pieces here. Um, and let's rename this. Remember F2, you can rename. We would call this idle down. Because we have idle down, up, left, right. So it's better to keep everything named correctly. Also, make sure you name it correctly. It's important. Um, okay, so let's click play. So you can see our anime. No, our, sorry. You can see our characters like go up, down, and up. Uh, but we want to loop this so that it will keep playing. Click loop here. So you can see our anime. Uh, not anime. Why am I keeping saying anime? So you can see our player like it just go up, down, up, down like that. If it's high doubling. Um, okay. Now, if you want to change the speed, now it's five, right? Let's, let's see what happens when we change it to ten. Is it go a lot faster? But no, I think five is good enough. Okay. So now that we have that, close it. We got our character. But you can see our character is like awfully small here. So you can hold down shift and then drag the corner to resize the character. Uh, also, right now it's very easy to just mess up and click on this tile map by accident. So why don't we lock that layer? So undo, undo, undo. Okay. If we right click and do lock selection, we lock this so we cannot select it anymore. That way we don't move it around by accident. Okay. So now we have our character. Uh, well, it, let's click play, right? Preview it. Can't see it because the character is below the wheel port. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the wheel port to where the character is. So how are we going to do that? Uh, we're going to click on the character. Let's name this player. Uh, and then we're going to go to behavior. Uh, let's see, where here? Add behavior. Behavior is like different characteristic of the the object. Uh, so we're going to do scroll to. Let's see, scroll to. So basically, scroll to is always centered the wheel on this object. So that way, uh, the wheel always center on it, like what it said. So if we click play now, you can see uh, our characters in wheel. Okay, so that was easy. Now let's make our character move. Like it's not interesting to just stand around, right? So. Go back to behavior. So we're going to add a new behavior. And then we're going to choose um, movement. 
So there are many different movements that we can do. You can do movement in eight direction. Well, let's give that a try, right? Uh, doesn't hurt. Let's play. If you're used to arrow key, you can see we can move around like that. No, but we don't want it. we don't want to do that. We want to do like a tile movement, kind of like a old retro game. So let's delete this behavior. So go back to like okay, click behavior, go to eight direction, just right click delete, and we'll get rid of it. So the one we want, actually want to use is um, tile movement. So you do up, down, left, right. But there are many different movement type you can use. You can experiment if you want to make different games. If you want to make a Mario-like game, you can use uh, platform. If you want to do a space game, you do orbit. Uh, I got a tutorial series on platform, so just take a look at the channel. Uh, we did that in class a couple of months ago. Anyway, click tile movement, click add. Uh, and then click play. So we did up, down, left, right. Our character's moving. All right. It's moving a little bit slow though. So let's change the speed a little bit. So if you go back to the properties, so remember if you click on this object, this property is correlating with this object. Uh, behavior, tile movement. So right now it's moving at a speed of 100 by 100, but it's kind of slow. So let's move this. Changes to 200 by 200. Click play. All right, that's more like it, right? We might need to make our map a little bit bigger uh, because right now it's um it's going across the entire island very fast. Okay, um yeah. So one of the thing that you can see here is like our character is actually moving out. You know, it can actually move to the sea. That's not good. Um. So the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to add some boundary to limit where the character can move. We're also going to decorate the island to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so actually spend some time to make the island bigger uh, because if you want to make it a more interesting level, right? So I'll see you on the next video. See you later.